Hello. Hello everybody. Welcome back to our channel. And welcome back. Hope you're all well. If you watched last week's video, you know that Andrew was in charge of our overnight stays. I planned a super duper city break. Did a cracking job, five pound a night. Cheapest chips, loads of planning, and we had a really good time. On our city break. At the banging resort of Fleetwood. It was really, really good. Now, Jane being Jane's trying to outdo me. This week, it's my turn. So she's no doubt sciencing it all up with an Excel spreadsheet. Four days in the Yorkshire Dales planned. Working things out because she's going to plan. Maybe not five pound a night. A little short break for us. Although I'm tight, I'm not bothered about spending a little bit of money. But what she would have done, she would have planned the proper route. This week, I've had some plan for the weather. She would have thought that maybe because we're a big vehicle, we won't want to go down little tracks like you need a Land Rover for. But what I've been using is part for now. We need fresh water, we need an Elson point. I've had to plan for where we want to be. So it'll be really interesting to see what she's done. Because there are some certain things I want to see. And where we're going. No doubt it'll involve... The cheese, grommet. I don't know, museums and... There will be a film location. Interesting artefacts. Caves with ultraviolet light. Well, what we know is it won't include real ale and stuff that I like. We want to see. Let's see. This week it's my turn. Us off now a little adventure that I've planned. Mini adventure. Mini Won't adventure. be as good as my adventure. It will. Won't be as cheap. No, that's true. <laughs> What's that that's dropped? Oh look, it's my stick. I missed one thing in the pre-flight check. Alright bud. Was an interesting road love it was very steep up and down and very narrow and, and really bumpy and quite busy so all in all everything you don't want in a road good choice though because look where we are you know good choice because you chose it i did choose it i mean that is stunning 10 pounds as an honesty box. I mean, it's a bit muddy, but um, beautiful view. Oh 
Oh, this is stunning. It's so peaceful. It were till you started like rabbiting on. Isn't that nice? So we're in Nidderdale and the river Nid flows in front of us through this reservoir, I think. Hence its name. It's really peaceful. What's this reservoir called? It's not Nidderdale. No, it's, this is the Gouthwaite or Gouthwaite. But the Nid must feed into it. Very informative. As ever. So the walk along the reservoir itself is a bit of a pain because we're on the road. There's plenty of these little viewing areas to pop in. It's not great though, is it? Walking along the road. Such a beautiful village. So beautifully English. Well done, Yorkshire. Very quiet last night. Just us in the car park when it, when the uh, bikers had gone, the cyclists. Lovely. Yeah, really good. What a yeah, really good park up. Dead. Here I go again. We're dead. Dead. Okay. Very. It's a good word. Really good park up. Silent, apart from this morning the bird song, but it was very pleasant and a really good night's sleep. And apparently it's owned by a farmer and he's provided this, which is why they charge, which is brilliant. It used to be a fiver, but then there'd have been some vandalism, so now we charge as a tenner. Still a really good idea. I still think tens a bit much. Just for, well, I don't know, we've got bins just, as well. It's just to park and, and get rid of your rubbish, but yeah. I, I think it's worth a fiver. I'm, I'm over here and it's a tenner, but I think that's on top side of pricing. Stingy is what he is. <laughs> But we've got bins, which is something that is really difficult when you're wild camping to find. So we're going to go and pay and do the rubbish. We've had to copper up because we forgot to get some money out. Um, so night one was uh, a hit. Well done. Thank you. Nearly as good as my super city break. Um, where are we going tonight? Night two. Do I really want to know? You do. We've got a fantastic itinerary today. We've got architectural features. We've got underground exploration and UV light things. Right then. And we're meeting friends. Okay, that's all right. Uh -huh. Have a sneaky beer. Miss one thing. And I thought I'd done a hundred percent today. Hey. It's the I love talking on the phone. It's a big old sixteen percent rise this. Right, we're coming up to the car hey. park. Is it your side? Yeah.
off to part two of today's adventure. It's very windy. It is very windy, but hopefully, even though we're on the top of the hill, it won't be as windy as it was then. So we're now at Stump Cross Caverns and we're going to be exploring some of the best preserved prehistoric caves in the UK. Mind your heads. Gosh, this is long. How long can you go? Even the floor is impressive. They've got to admit, this has been a good day. It's all right. Oh, it's reasonable. That is so pretty. It looks like a bat wing. Up at the top, yeah, with the light going through it. This one, you put a sign to stop you touching it. This one has black and yellow rather than the normal crystals. It's very informative. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> Don't walk backwards in a cave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it lights all your teeth. It lights all your teeth up. No, don't scare children. No. <laughs> We've just finished our second day of our mini Yorkshire break. How has it been, love? It's been very good. It's been a really good day out. We've seen the cold cut, no, cold stone cut, and we've been to Stump Cross Caverns. And to say that we've lived in this area all our lives nearly, I can't believe we didn't know about it. Managed to avoid it until now. Oh, it's just, it's been brilliant. And I loved being having a self guided tour and the darkness with the UV lights just was brilliant. I the loved it. The tour was really good. Um, 65 steps down, 65 back up, 
so if you're a bit uh, wonky on your knees and legs be mindful and you've to basically spend quite a bit of your time crouched going through really low ceilings and banging your head and getting a sore neck and a sore back but other than that spot on yeah it was brilliant i really, I really enjoyed it and highly recommend anybody coming to this and we're staying here tonight we're in the car park it's 10 pounds to park um with no services but there's secure gates but you get five pounds of that back against anything that you buy either in the cafe or for a trip down the, the caves yeah and it's we're, we're, we're perched right on top of a big hill you can see for miles around it's quite exposed really quite windy but feel really secure because the um the, the barrier the, as soon as they shut up shop they lock the barriers so it's a good spot to be and we're just now inside the north yorkshire dales national park and we're going to go for tea next door with our friends and uh, catch you in the morning if you are still watching at this point then well done you you obviously have a big tolerance to boredom most of our watchers actually aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you are watching and you haven't clicked subscribe, it doesn't cost anything, give it a click. That'd be really good because you would help me somewhere down the line become a YouTube gazillionaire. Thanks for watching. Us. Not me. Us. It's always, it's just me. It's not, so it's us. We're a team. The accounting man. Yeah. There's no I in team. Well, it's Steve, you have a birthday coming up. So. <laughs> Just saying, Andrew. Do you have a history? What? What are you about? Do you not listen to signs? So Tom Lee killed Dr. Richard Petty, been to a cockfight. Tom Lee was a prime suspect and hanged. And Grassington really liked it. Very dog friendly in the town, lots of little cute shops. The visitor centre shut during the week in February and March. It's only open at weekends. In my dreams alone have I imagined such a place. It does look like it could be. If only we could do this with you, bud. Uh, she 
said just go to the back. Back? Yeah. Here? Yeah, I guess so. I will, I'll go and I'll go and pay. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Don't go down. I think we should go backwards and go the other way. Otherwise, we only get that much away. Do try my best to get you out of People only watch to see me. Okay, so day three. That was better. <laughs> day three we... of the super itinerary. Okay, so we left the caves this morning and drove to Grassington, which is a really lovely little Yorkshire village. Had a bit of a wander, didn't we? So through some of the shops. What's around? Coffee, cake, mm -hmm. usual uh, thing yeah. that middle-aged people do when they go to a little village. And then we drove to Aesgar Falls through, I think it's the Wharf Valley. Um, it was absolutely stunning. Worth noting that it was not the straightforwardest of drive, quite narrow, some, some tight turns, some really steep stuff. So if you're new to bigger vehicles, uh, you just might want to... Uh, bear that in mind if you're not comfortable with your length i'm sure you've used that joke before yeah but it's a good one if you're not comfortable with your length i'll use it again as i am um j just be mindful so the walk around Aesgar falls was lovely we've tried to um I can you hear dog drinking he's not moved for the last 10 minutes he's just been dead to work he's been and now we start talking he's having a massive drink it's just inconvenient. So we tried to find the bit in the film where they filmed Prince of Thieves. Really enjoyed it. Nice walk. We got a bit wet towards the end. Very, very muddy. Very muddy. And now we've parked up for the night uh, a little way down the road at Hawes. We're in the auction part, auction mart. It's not pretty. It's quite It wild. is out the front. Look out front. It's still a bit steamed up, but it's lovely out front because you're looking up a valley. It's just that the other three sides of the vehicle are literally in a cattle market. So there's old cattle fences and there's no animals here yet. If you wake up in the morning, it could be surrounded by <laughs> uh, cows and sheep. But it's got an Elson, it's got water. Oh, bud, what are you doing? Um, so it'll be all right. We'll see how we get on tonight. Again, worth noting, the Elson doesn't have any water with it. So it's just a, it's just a funnel into the ground. So. It's actually, as farmers do, they're very, very uh, good with their imagination. It's, it looks like it's an upturned traffic cone. It's an upside down traffic cone. Which is really good use of materials you find lying around. Well, I hope it is. Otherwise, I've just dumped two days <laughs> worth of human matter in, in a somewhere I shouldn't. But there's no water. So, well, there um, is, but it's at the other side. No, that's You'd drinking have to... water. Oh, I see. You can't. That, yeah, have yeah. have you okay. learned nothing in the last 18 months? Yeah, okay. So, you're one of them people that, that contaminates I drinking do water. Not. So, uh, I carry a little bit of a, t a, a few litres of water just in, in, a, in a locker, just in case I go to an Elson that doesn't have water. Then I don't need to contaminate drinking yes, okay, water. Yes, okay, okay. So, it's our turn to cook tea tonight. Fuming, I am. And we'll see whether this windy weather keeps us awake tonight and day four in the morning just keeps getting better and better it does we're going what we're we doing tomorrow we're going to some Ooh, to do with cheese grab it some cheese a problem when you're in a big vehicle trying to park in these car parks. Um, I'm going to turn that into one of these, a little one pound Wednesday bag. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bye bye, Vision. Did they not sell cheese in here then? I couldn't find cheese. Cheese shop. <laughs> Are you still eating cheese? <laughs> Which one? Should be served Wednesday. Hmm. Yeah, that is nice. Well, that was a grand day out, love. Very cheesy. Really good barking. I feel a bit cheese sick now. Well, that's because you ate a lot of cheese. I ate my, um, I ate more in cheese than the entrance fee for both of us. <laughs> At 5 95 two for one, bargain. We're off to find a lunch spot to eat our cheese. What are you stuffing? Wednesday dill with ginger on a chocolate hobnob, as recommended by the creamery yesterday. It's very tasty, I so do you want some? So after we left the creamery yesterday, we drove down to Ingleton. We went via Ribblehead Viaduct and just stopped to have a quick look at that. It's somewhere I think we'll definitely go back to, but it was very, very misty yesterday um, and once we got to Ingleton we parked up in the car park where we've been before and if you want to have a look at that video we'll put the link in the description and up in the video up there it's a beautiful little park up five pounds overnight and we had to pay two pound forty for the rest of the day to get us to six o'clock so it's well worth a stop if you're in that area so that's the end of our four day little trip I think I've ticked all the boxes we went down the caves we so a reservoir, three film, three film locations and cheese as well. So the grand total for our four night trip out into North Yorkshire came to £35. So I think I did quite well in my planning. What are you stealing? I'm going to be eating cheese for days and days and days. But I don't mind. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found it useful. If you have, maybe share or give it a little like if it's going to be useful for someone else. Feel free to give us some comments. We love the comment banter. Thanks, guys.